Uh, listen, come on. Yeah. Listen to me, damn it! Gummer, listen to me! Hey! No, 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 no! Let's celebrate. What are we celebrating? Our last mission. I've heard that before. This is the one. By the end of the day, all of us are gonna be fucking rich. But mostly, you and me. It's another wreck. It's not just any wreck. The UNN Urshinabi. Dropped off the map less than a week ago. No distress call. Those UNN pricks never come out this far unless they're carrying something special. Aren't you one of those UNN pricks? <laughs> Easy. If I'm still one of those UNN pricks, then you're still an OPA traitor with Anderson Dawes bounty on your head. But... The past is the past. The past is the past. Why didn't you take it? The bounty. I knew you were worth more. Anybody who could piss off someone that dangerous must be pretty fucking valuable. Don't make the same mistake he did. I work for you, but you don't own me. <laughs> Believe me, I'm well aware. Just want to make sure you're not having second thoughts about our deal. No, come on. We're equal partners. We pay the crew, the costs, and the overhead. The rest is 50-50. You and me. We've got a good thing going here. Nobody fucks with you, which means nobody fucks with me. And hell, if this score is what I think it could be, you've got the deal of the century. Now drink. I'll toast you when I've got my fortune. Suit yourself. I'll keep a waiting for when you return. Time to rally the crew for Cox's latest, last mission. I should start by briefing Khan. Khan, new orders from the captain. I know. He already sent me the coordinates. Captain thinks that this could be... Last score we'll ever need. All of a century. I got the pep talk from him. What's our ETA? It depends. On what? On how long you plan to waste my time. Oh dear. 
I made the lackey upset. Forgive me. Fashing Fong, you will bet. I'll back to, to you eventually. You want to braid somebody's hair? Go find Maya. I'm busy. We're nearly there. The debris field is massive. It'll take me a minute to navigate. Somebody blew that ship to hell and back. I should check the command console for more information on the ocean lobby. She's been chewing on that same cigar for weeks. I assume this is Khan's husband. <laughs> it's the happiest I've ever seen her. Wouldn't want to do a high G burn in one of these. It's bad enough with the juice and the cushy chair. Haven't had to shoot much, but we keep the PDCs fully stocked. Just in case. As the XO, it's my job to make sure the ship and its crew are in order. I keep a log on the ship and on our scavenge missions. Time to find the rest of the crew. Arlen said he put all this away. What was it, three days ago? Lazy Gemini. Ship's diagnostics always come back good. The Artemis isn't much to look at, but she's built to last. Of course, Cox needs to get his beauty rest before he gets back to work, doing absolutely nothing. to suit up in the prep room with everyone. But I've seen Arlen's and Rayan's asses enough for one lifetime. Now, I keep my vac suit in my room. I used to suit up in the prep room with everyone. But I've seen Arlen's and Rayan's asses enough for one lifetime. Now, I keep my back suit in my room. If he doesn't secure that thing before we come out of trust, we'll all be finding pieces in our beds. Again. I told him he couldn't wear OPA symbols for the sake of crew unity. So instead, he displays it here like a petulant child. I bet she sniffs that box before she goes to bed. I 
I never thought I'd get along with a Martian Marine. But Maya hates the MCRN almost as much as I do. Maya fits in well for her first time in the belt. Despite whatever Philota this book taught her. Somehow I am not surprised to learn that Maya keeps a copy of our ship's manual by her bedside. I got a lot closer to a captain's chair than I would have expected. And a lot further away from anything else. I need to finish briefing the rest of my crew before I suit up. Dos gave me everything. A job, a purpose, a community. Until he took it all away. Even with everything he's done, took every yen I had to get off Ceres without Dawes or Star Helix noticing. Never had time for dating on Ceres. Now I've got plenty of time and no one to date. Dos gave me everything. A job, a purpose, a community. Until he took it all away. A little token of my childhood on Ceres. Each time it gets another crack, it reminds me of that shit heap even more. I wonder what angry pilot could have written this. What's your excuse this time? You not get enough sleep? You need some aqua caca, huh? Ow! Just let me go! It just fell, okay? What I tell you! Tinsha, you stupid prick! Quit fucking up! Hey! Boss man! Make him stop! Shut it, Okaka! Enough of this, Falota! And you wonder why I have to treat you like Maliwala. <laughs> we got a job, Baratnas. Listen up. Nah, fuck that. I'm tired of rooting around in the dumpster for that Inya. Cox promised us a real payday. He said, give me three months and you never have to work again. He said... He said, this the next job. And he, the boss man. Just like Ceres. Bossing everyone around. Only this time, no dolls to keep you on the leash, yeah? Just do your job. Okay. Jordan, boss man. Come on, Baratna. So far, none of the biomass that's gone through this recycler has been a crew member. I consider that a win. Supplies are always tight on long jobs, but we're running low on even the basics now. Nothing like fresh herbs and spices to go with dry kibble. Food in the belt is never fancy. But my stomach still turns when I look at this mush. Arlen is right. That Rayan can't keep his shit from breaking. It only makes my job harder.
Maya has a plan for this meditation session. She's going to bring her makeup kit and wait until Virgil gets into a deep trance, then go to town on him. I may have to watch. Virgil. Virgil! <sighs> Exo drummer. <clears throat> Usually medics only know enough to plug that thing in and rig up the morphine dispenser. Well, I took a course in auto dock repair during my residency. Useful for work outside the medical system. It's been giving me abnormal readings since series, but I finally know why. The laser crystal's badly occluded. This looks like the kind of job that Maya would kill for. While Miss Castillo can no doubt install a new crystal, I'm afraid we'll need a new one first. I can only imagine what ancient welding equipment the captain dug this stone out of. But we'll need a high-quality gem for surgical work. I assume you didn't come here to talk about crystals. We have a new target. What is it this time, El Dorado? The Fountain of Youth? Let me guess. The Falcon Horde of Venus? <laughs> the UNN Urshanabi. Cap believes there's something valuable on board. Something special. Do we want to invite that kind of attention? We'll be fine. In and out. No games. I'll monitor any data you send back, and I'll be here to patch anyone up, should it come to that. When Cox recruited me, a big selling point was the med bay and the medic. Not something you see on most scavenging ships. Should I be concerned that our medic thinks we need this many prosthetics? Does he know something I don't? No one on this ship likes to talk about their past, but Virgil is a real mystery. Only Cox knows his deal, and he's not saying. We never have enough supplies, but Virgil always seems to make do. Any other medic, and I'd assume he spent the day napping in this, but not this medic. Where do I look for a replacement crystal? Aside from medical, high-end navigation or communication systems use them as well. ETA, five minutes, drummer. Will do, boss man. Headed back to my room to suit up now. Where are you going to go, Kamina? Huh? Anywhere but here. With anyone but you. <laughs> Hate me all you want. You are many things, Belta Loda, but you are not a traitor. You love your Bell, and right now, Bell is me. I'm busy. You're late. Quit tinkering and get your helmet. We're about to push off. Fucking make me. <laughs> Typical engineer. Smart hands. But caca for brains. <laughs> I 
I should put you in the brig for this. You'd have to catch me first. Cutting thrust. Prepare to enter float in three, two... Come on. Let me hear it. You got me. <laughs> Fuck yes. Finally! <laughs> you were kicking my ass for a minute. I thought you had me again. That was a good move. <laughs> kind of a cheap shot, though. Psh. If it was a cheap shot, I would have smashed your brittle belter bones against the ceiling. <laughs> Don't believe everything they taught you in the Martian Navy. My bones are just as strong as yours. I didn't believe a single thing they taught me at that fascist brainwash factory. That's why I'm here with you, brittle bitches. Arlen and Rayan have begun breaching the airlock off the bridge. Once we're in, we are Holy going to- Holy shit, Io! Usually Io is covered up by these dust streams that fire off from its poles after volcanic activity. But it's clear as day. It's hard for me to look at these moons without thinking about the Earther research colonies exploiting all the resources on them and giving nothing to the belt. That's... fucked up. <laughs> I usually only look for what could kill me out here. But it's nice getting to see it through your eyes. Even if they're the eyes of an inner who doesn't know her ass from her oxygen bulb. You mean an inner who pile-drived your ass into a ceiling, right? <laughs> Let's head out. Just remember to- Woohoo! As I was saying, remember to keep your weight back when you land. Still, not bad for an inner who's barely been in the belt for a month, eh? Reminds me when Rayan and I were learning to spacewalk. One time, he crashed right into the hull and shit his vac suit. <laughs> shut up, <laughs> shut it, Koya! <laughs> Whoa! Uh, airlock is open, Exo. Uh, good. Let's see what we have in here. Table scraps. Ah! Fuck! Yo, Baratna. She's crazy. Just breathe. Keep your head down. It's okay. Now say puke in your suit, okay? Eh? That you won't choke to death on your own sick.
Enough. Whoever put out this welcome gift for us is long gone. And they left behind a big-ass ship that must have some valuables still on it. So get scavenging! You all have your orders. Hurry up and do your job so we can get back home. If I stare at these too long, I might be the one throwing up in my suit. It's not like the pirates took down some creaky old ship. This thing was practically brand new. Got an intact QPU here. Nice find. Fuel, oxygen, oxygen, scrap metal, metal wiring. wiring. If we can use it or sell it, it goes in here. Pirates tore this place apart, but pirates aren't scavengers. There must have been one hell of a battle here. Hmm. Doesn't look like a typical pirate attack to me. I agree. Maybe they were looking for something big and couldn't find it. Left the heads to try and scare off anyone else. Or maybe they were a bunch of psychotic Pashangwalas. Get your ass moving and we won't have to find out. Thank you. 
This looks like a fabricator of some kind. Maybe for material printing? Do we? <gasps> yes! Gimme, gimme! like the officer's section is still intact. Go check it out. On it. You know the military. The brass always hoards the best shit. <laughs> Let's hope so. How's the search going? Not much to find in this sea of caca. You? Haven't found much so far. You hear that, Baradna? Exo got the easy job inside and she still can't find for Lota. <laughs> oh, it must be so hard for you, finding sheets of metal on the hull of a ship. On this wreck, yeah. So much PDC damage. It's nating but holes. While I hunt for valuables, Arlen and Rayan are back there, grabbing every piece of scrap metal they can pry away. Hey, you want to tell me why there's OPA graffiti on our containment boat? Why not? You used to run things on series. Don't you support the OPA? The OPA has a lot of enemies. And you just stuck their symbol where anyone can see it. You think that's smart? <laughs> She's got you there, Baratna. Yeah, fine. But I'd rather be brave than smart. We know. Just paint it over. Not a lot of particulates in the air filter. Virgil, how long do you think the bodies have been like this? A couple of days? That's my assumption, after analyzing the footage of the heads and the remnants of the precipitating battle. What can you tell me about the heads, medically speaking? From the uniformity of the incisions, it seems clear they were done post-mortem. Very difficult to be precise if the victim is fighting back. Last time Khan smoked a cigar on the ship, Maya had to spend half the day cleaning out the air filter.
So, about that. It's a fingerprint lock. You're going to need to find the right hand. An officer. It's the baka. Good news. The logs show that there was one out in the crew mess hall. Second Corporal Horowitz. All right. Might be difficult to get his body back to the door, though. Don't need all of him. Oh, God. Skinnies. Bigoted asshole. He still didn't deserve to die like this. Hey, come. You've been flying a long time. Ever seen anything like this before? Nah. But when it comes to pirates, nothing surprises me. They're all monsters. Sounds personal. Put it this way. If we ever capture one alive, all I need is ten minutes and my torch blade. The ship would smell like barbecue for weeks. Ah, oh, Pashang. Nice find. <laughs> Thanks. It appears I have one advantage over the pirates that were here. What's that? I know how to look up. Skinnies. Bigoted asshole. He still didn't deserve to die like this. Microwave energy gun. Not a bad choice for persuading someone to open a door. Last time Khan smoked a cigar on the ship, Maya had to spend half the day cleaning out the air filter. Commanders, this is Private Takabe. The pirates have asked me to report the following. All crew members, except for those barricaded in the officers' quarters, have been killed or captured. The pirates do not wish to kill anyone else. If you open the gate now and allow them to complete their search, no more lives will be lost. And if you do not comply... Oh God, please don't! Arlen and Rayan's experience hauling minerals on Vesta has been a big help, even when they annoyed the hell out of me. Hmm. Clean palladium in this recycler. Good pull, drummer. UNN officers always keep a backup water recycler for themselves. You were a UNN officer. Do you have a backup recycler for yourself? Of course not. I drink the same cloudy sludge as the rest of you. Mm-hmm.
Europa's Bane. Anyone heard of it? It's one of Toussaint Zapata's ships. Ah, fuck. Shoulda known. Who is that? Latest pirate flavor of the month. Led a mining strike on Europa. Stole a few ships. Now self-employed as a full-time murdering psychopath. UNN has been giving her a wide berth. If she wanted to take out this ship, it means she had a good reason. Or she's just a murdering psychopath. Got it. Thanks. Maya, I'm in the mess hall. Time to find an officer. I've linked the personnel records to your terminal. Try scanning the bodies and see if you get a match. Looks like the crew tried to mount a defense here. For all the good it did. Those poor people. This is awful. Have you ever seen anything like it? No. Not even on series? Not even on series. Pashang. Check the shoulders. UNN officers have those fancy bars. I wonder if Toussaint was here herself. Or if she stayed back on the ship like some other captains I know. Another pirate corpse. That makes two in here. Better than none. You know anything else about this Toussaint? Where she's from? The thing about murderous rampaging pirates? They tend to be a little mysterious. I know pirates are vicious, but this is... You hear stories about people who spend too long off station. Go Big Pagal. Big Pagal? My belter is... It means really fucking crazy. This much violence seems pretty Big Pagal to me. Can you hurry up? Working on it. This was a massacre. No other word for it. Sooner we get out of here, the better. Have you checked the ceiling? If his mag boots were off, he might have drifted. I wonder if Toussaint was here herself. Or if she stayed back on the ship like some other captains I know. That's the one. Poor Arthur. Sorry about this. Happening. Ah, ah, an accident. My leg. Uh, it's the. Falota, you're the accident. Keep holding. I'll be right there. Drummer, whatever mess he's got himself into, make sure the containment vault is secure. We cannot afford to lose it. Captain, Rayan's back suit is. Not now! Drummer, get your ass over there. On my way. My leg. Samalo drama. Samalo. Hold still. We'll see what we can do. What happened? An exploded charge, I think. Pirates must have left it behind. 
Hush, hang, you didn't scan first. Drummer, his suit is punctured and losing pressure. You need to release the vault and patch him now or he could die. Belay that! That vault has O2, fuel, armaments. We can't afford to lose it. Hold on. Kaka, what are you doing? You're welcome. I'm signaling Virgil to come check on him, but vitals look stable. You did the right thing, Kamina. Bullshit. See if you feel that way in a few weeks when we're running out of supplies. He's right, Poratna. You're a disgrace to Beltaloda. It's done. Ran's an idiot, but he didn't deserve to suffer vacuum exposure for his mistake. No one does. You're in. Let's see what these UNN big shots kept to themselves. Damn. Looks like the Urshanabi's last stand. They suddenly didn't give up the ship without a fight. They don't even get to finish their last words. They torched all their data. Standard up, but unfortunate for us. What's a UNN escort ship doing alone out here? There's nothing to escort. Besides the pirates, there's no signs of ships in the vicinity. So they must have been traveling alone. Interesting. What would bring a ship so far from Earth? Something valuable that the pirates couldn't find, but you will. This is Christian Abasarala, Deputy Undersecretary for Peace Operations. I am denying your request for additional support against Belter Hostiles. Captain, you lead a well-armed battleship against a single pirate frigate. You outnumber them five to one. I don't give half a fuck what ghost stories you have heard about this Captain Tucson. Do your fucking job, or you can hand me your bars directly when you return to Earth to do whatever disgraced soldiers do 
after they have been retired. Regards, Christian Abbasara Allah. Found the captain. Well, most of him. Fucking savages. Looks like a personal key card. I should find whatever it opens. Found a key card on the captain. Not sure what it's for though. Check his room? Maybe he has a safe somewhere that pirate scanners wouldn't have picked up. This one didn't see any other way out. I've heard some Earthers find it therapeutic to fly with something that reminds them of life at home. Plants, soil, stuffed animal carcasses. Hey Cap, you need any dead animals for your desk? Why the fuck would I? Probably still has rabies. Come on, you're an Earther. You don't want a memento of Earth and its weird mammals? Do I seem like I missed that shit planet? I've been out here for so long I wouldn't know a ferret if it bit me on the ass. I'll just leave it here. I'm no art snob, but I don't think most paintings are done on iron. Maybe something good on here. Or maybe a lot of dick pics. Guess we'll see. Cap, found something that could be something. Transmitting now. Fuck. That's a lot of data. <laughs> Alright. Load up the crew and head back. I'll see if there's any gold in this shit pile. Yeah, boss man. Khan's picking up a short in the fusion coupling. She needs you to take a look. Now? Is that necessary? It is, if you want to put this wreck behind us. I'm on it. <laughs> 